Hi friends! Today, we are here to talk about whether or not blogging still works in 2019. This video is for those of you who are thinking of sharing your interests, creating your content, and also make money online, but you are not sure if you should get into blogging or YouTube or to just stick to social media. For those of you who are watching this who are thinking of blogging for fun, this video might not be for you. So we will be looking into blogging from three different perspectives. Number one, reach of audience. So has social media and YouTube taken over? And do people still really search for blog? Number two, audience interest, where we talk about the preferred method of consumption and also attention span of the millennials this day. So number three is income profitability, where we talk about whether or not blogging can actually still make you money in 2019. But before that, I just wanted to give you a little bit short introduction about who I am and why you should listen to me about blogging. So I actually started blogging from way back in the days of Windows Live Space. I don't know if any one of you actually know that, but I actually started personal blogging from there. And then I hopped onto Blogspot. And as I grew older, I decided to take blogging seriously. And so I moved onto a self-hosted WordPress site and I had a lifestyle blog for over 10 years. However, I have decided that as of 2019, I am closing this lifestyle blog and I'm going to share with you why at the end of this video. So let's get into this. I don't want to talk more about me. Let's get into this. Number one, reach of audience. So you will be spending a lot of time and putting all of your heart and effort into writing your blog post and we want to make sure that you are able to reach as many people as possible. So the common perception is that social media has taken over blog. But I'm not sure how true it is. Yes, everybody may have Facebook and Instagram at the tip of their hands and they may use it very often. But the thing is, when you have a problem, when you have a specific thing that you want to search online, we will still always go back to the search engine, which is Google, Bing, to search for the answer where the articles from the blog post pop up and we assess it to help us. So you see, as much as you can share about a specific topic on Instagram and Facebook, it is not very searchable. Which means that people can only reach your content if they are a follower of you or if they search through hashtag, which, let's be honest, is really saturated and limited. You can't find the specific thing that you are looking for online. So this is where you see that blogging might still come in more powerful than social media because if you properly optimize your article and if you really target the right niche, you are able to reach a broader like a broader group of audience than your social media is able to. And because of that, I'm going to give blogging a 4 out of 5 rating for reach of audience because it can still be really powerful. The second criteria that we will look into is the audience interest. It is undeniable that us millennials has shorter attention span and that we prefer something that is more visually stimulating like image and visuals for our content consumption. Like I personally would prefer to watch a 3 minutes video on how to cook an egg instead of reading like a 300 words article about it. So it makes sense that blogging might not work well because blog posts usually last for 300 to 1000 words and it can get really texty and wordy. However, for certain contents like self-help, personal development, step-by-step -step tutorial, contents like that, there are still many people who prefer to consume this content in a form of words. I personally still visit Medium a lot to read articles written by the really good writers and I really love writings from bloggers like Mark Manson, which you really should check out his books. And for that, I am going to put audience interest as 2 out of 5 that although people may prefer visuals over writing right now, it is not 100% you know, out. Thirdly, income profitability. Depending on your niche or your business goal, you can either choose to have your income stream for blogging to be advertising, affiliate marketing, sponsored content, or also selling products or services. 
However, you have to remember that the money will only come to you if you create consistent and quality content on your page that is able to build trust in your audience, to really trust you to buy the products or whatever it is that you are promoting. If you are someone who don't have a specific niche and you write about everything that comes up to your mind and you promote about everything, it's not gonna work out. I personally make that mistake. So when I was having my lifestyle blog, I was really writing content that is true to my heart, but I didn't really have proper strategy and I was like writing about everything. So naturally, I also promoted things that is all over the place. Weirdly enough, Although I was a lifestyle blogger at that time, the only thing that I was able to sell well through affiliate marketing was a web hosting platform. And that is because my audience, my followers, they know me as a person who has been blogging for over 10 years. They knew me as someone who is experienced and expert in this field, and so they trust my recommendations when it comes to the thing that I am promoting. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get back into what we're talking about. I do believe that blogging can be profitable if you take it seriously and you have the right strategy with it. And with that, I'm going to give income profitability a 4 out of 5 because you can do it but with good strategy. So looking into all this rating, my conclusion is that blogging still works in 2019. There are still many bloggers who are really successful now in 2019 like the blogger bought the blog abroad for the traveling industry and also Om and the City for the health and wellness industry. Besides identifying the niche, the strategy, and the right income stream for yourself, one important thing to consider if you're gonna get into blogging is to really think about what method works best for you. And by that, I mean like, do you do better speaking in person or do you do better in writing? I have seen many content creators struggling in talking in front of the cameras in YouTube because they feel like YouTube is the way that they should go, it is you know, the thing for 2019 and blogging still doesn't work. But they ended up being really uncomfortable on screen and that made their content come out as like really uncomfortable for the audience to watch. And so I really think that you should find out what works for you because content creation is something that is in for the long haul. You might not get known or recognized until your 50th blog post or your 100th YouTube video. So be sure to find the platform that is right for you that you can be comfortable creating non-stop all over and over again. So next week, I will be sharing with you the online business ideas that you can start with almost zero capital. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay tuned for it. Watch these two videos if you enjoy more girl boss or motivational content and I will see you in my channel next week. Bye! JK, I'm back! So that was a thunderstorm that's coming in. The sky was getting darker. The thunders are rolling in so I was rushing to finish that video and I forgot to explain to you why I decided to close down my lifestyle blog. So as I mentioned earlier, I wasn't making much profit from it and that is because I didn't have a... Uh, look at the thunder! Okay, and that is because I didn't have a main niche that I really stick onto and I didn't have the right strategy and I don't mind that. That blog has served me as like my heart's desire a side project and I was really happy running it for the past 10 years and it's just time for me to move on from it. I'm really grateful for those of you who've, who's been here with me since my lifestyle blogging days. I love it but I've decided to pursue YouTube full time instead of my blog to really focus on talking to you and to create good content for you. And yeah, so that's why I stopped my blog. I don't think many of you will be watching till this end. But if you do, I really thank you for watching here. And I will see you next week. Bye!